welcome to another lecture and today we will be discussing something about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in pediatric population. Before I begin, I would like to request you to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, what is NAFLD? So, now this is a... NAFLD is a spectrum of disease and it may range from a fatty liver to fibrosis to cirrhosis. Fibrosis to cirrhosis. And, uh, you know, thus has another multiple another terminologies like NAFL and NAHSH. Okay. So, these all are a spectrum of disease where you have a fatty deposition. Fatty deposition on liver fatty deposition on liver in usually obese child and it has a very very high prevalence with obesity and there are multiple other risk factors like hispanic uh, ethnicity or be it pre-diabetes diabetes, diabetes uh, hypertension and uh, metabolic syndromics or even multiple syndromic patients will have all this risk so, there is a fatty deposition on liver leading to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and it has a significant association with obesity. Now, we will be discussing the diagnostic algorithm. The full lecture will be available on the app. So, make sure you watch that on the app. So, here we have to suspect a presence of NAFLD in a child who has age more than 8 years, the child has age more than 8 years with chronically elevated, chronically elevated AST, oh, sorry, ALT, more than, you know, the levels are decided, uh, the levels more than either 48 in females, uh, 44 in females and 52 in males. Okay. If the chronically elevated level for more than or equal to 2 to 3 months, the ALT levels are elevated in a obese and a overweight child, obese or overweight child, then you need to investigate for NAFLD. Now, next, you have seen it, uh, then you will see what is the magnitude of elevation, okay? Now, if the magnitude of elevation is more than or equal to 80 international unit of ALT per, uh, uh, per liter of, you know, uh, blood, or if it, it is less than 80. Now, if it is less than 80, then you have to rule out other causes as NAFLD is technically a diagnosis of exclusion. Rule out other causes like be it drug intake, be it steroid intake, be it any other endocrine abnormality like hypothyroidism, be it autoimmune hepatitis. You know, you have to rule out infections, endocrine disorders and autoimmune causes primarily and then there are other causes like drug ingestion medications many medications would lead to this now if it is more than 80 next you have to seal the diagnosis of nafld and you have to give dietary and lifestyle modification dietary and lifestyle modification to the patient dietary and lifestyle modification are given screen time less than two hours per day exercise uh you know exercise is ideally done for more than or equal to 150 minutes per week okay at least at least okay at least is very important and uh, along with this you have to decrease high fructose corn syrup and sugary foods from the diet now if there is you have to follow up after six months follow up after six months if the patient has improved then you go on with dietary modification if not you have to refer the patient to a gastrologist gastroenterologist or hepatologist 
and they will you know give the further management now in adults vitamin e and metformin have been successfully used for uh, you know these patients pediatric there are no such uh, approvals as of now but in future they might occur and if the bmi is more than 35 kg per meter square of body uh, you can think about bariatric surgery because this is symptomatic obesity so that is why you can consider bariatric surgery so this is how you usually approach the patient with nafld the investigation screening investigation of choice you know is alt and uh, though technically imaging cannot be used for screening it has been found to be a very good alternative in uh, you know quantification and follow up once the patient is diagnosed, though imaging, uh, USG and CT are not very good investigation and they are not recommended for screening, they can be used for quantitative follow-up later on to see the degree of fibrosis, to see the degree of fatty uh, liver, you know, if it is progressing, if it is decreasing. So all that you can see it. That's all for today, guys. I hope you like the video and I would request you to go to our website. Uh, the link is in description below, simplypediatrics.com or you can download our awesome app and see the course that be best fits you, tailor-made for you. And uh, that's all. Uh, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.